come on, never mind those people behind you. Get on, Bella. Get on. No, come on. Walk on. Walk on, Bella. Go on, good girl, walk on. Walk on, good girl. Go on. Go on, Bella. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Steady. Good girl. Good girl, Bella. Go on. Good girl. Right. And walk, walk, Bella, walk, good girl, good girl. Well, you can see there's a lot less water in the uh, stream. I think it's something to do with the high winds because it's dried up a lot of um, the rain that we've had. So I think that's good. Good girl, Bella. Whoa, good girl. Whoa, stand. Stand, Bella. Well stood, good girl. Walking. Now, come on, you're hanging on my left leg there, Billy. Don't want to be doing that, do we? Because we don't want to just not see what we're doing and nip, fall down that. Bella, get over. And you put your foot down. That'd be a bit silly, wouldn't it? Come on, get over. Good. Get over. I don't know why she's hanging to the left today. Come on, Bella. Walk on now. Slow. Slower. Slower. Slower, Bella. Slower. Good girl. Walk on. Slow. Slow. Foot. You're not really looking, are you, for some reason today? Come on. Good. Better. Come on, let's have your right shoulder over. I hope it open, open rain for moving the shoulders rather than the quarters. Come on, good girl, walk on. Good girl. It's just a dog. Come on. Good girl. Hello. All right, Bella. Good girl. Good girl. Well done. Good 
it over. Go on. Good girl. A little thing I've, I've thought of regarding moving Bella over with my leg. Um, something I come across many years ago when I was looking for a horse for rents and there was this horse advertised that was um, suitable for beginners so I went to try him or was it a her? Anyway we went, went to try him and do you know, I couldn't get that horse to canter. I couldn't get it to canter. And I couldn't understand why. And he said, oh, well, you know, you have to, you have to put your leg back and all this is like, I didn't know how to canter a horse, right? But anyway, you don't say anything, do you? You just say, yes, I'm, I'm doing that. And uh, it wasn't until afterwards, and we were on our way home, because I couldn't make him go. And I thought, well, there's no point buying that. If I can't make him go, then Renz isn't going to make him go, because he's a beginner. He was even, it was, this is before we started riding, um, coning. So you can tell that was quite some years ago. And then it dawned on me, as you, you know, in bed as it does do. So I'm in, I'm in bed thinking, why didn't that horse go? And I could see that the, the um, young girl was cantering him. And I thought, well, you know, she's, she's only Diddy. So if she could handle him, why wasn't I able to get him to canter? And it dawned on me then, because she was little. She was, I don't know, maybe five foot. And both Renz and I um, are, well, I think I'm, well, I am five foot eight, unless I've lost some <laughs> lost some height with age, as you do, when your bones all go to crap. Um, and I think Renz is about five foot eight or nine. And uh, I suddenly raised different leg position. So where I ask a horse to take off into the canter, I would have to have my stirrups up six holes. You know, there's no way I could ride like that. I'd be too un, un, unsteady. So it's just a little thought. If if you're buying a horse and you can't get it to do something, it might be that you are taller or shorter than the person that was riding it. That's just something that came to me as I'm going through the trees back there. And I'm, I'm pressing, Just I just press with my leg because she's very responsive. Well, they're all very responsive, aren't they? Um, it's very rare that I have to kick on any of my horses and that might be just because well particularly Bella really she just has a little stubborn moment doesn't she now and again and so you have to sort of kick on whereas normally it's just a squeeze or even a and and she's gone <laughs> into canter uh, because they love it all of my horses love love going at a speed so that's good but um, I'm witting on a bit here but it's just worth bearing in mind that how tall a person is has a bearing on where they position their legs for a canter. Not so much in the trot, it's more the canter because you have to put your leg back and then ask for the canter. So just a thought. It's probably only horses that have been with their rider for some time that would probably just register that as where, where they're supposed to canter depart, where the leg goes. If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. We love reading the comments, we love emojis, and we'd love a thumbs up.